Well, a community worried this morning after a woman was shot last night while she was driving her car and a young child in the back seat. Carrie Kynes on the story, joining us now from the west side near the intersection of 10th Street and Bellevue. That's where police say the woman crashed her car. Carrie? Yeah, good morning, Anne Maria and Julia. First of all, the child who was in the car is okay. The little girl, around five years old, was not injured in the shooting or that crash. However, the woman driving the car, not so lucky. Police arrived to find her here, shot her car, crashed into this car, and it hit with such force that it crumbled the back of this car, folding this trunk in half, and then shoving this car into the car in front of it, and it into the car in front of that. On top of that, police say that the woman suffered at least one gunshot wound to the head. She was taken to the hospital in serious condition. Now, again, all of this happened shortly before 11 o'clock. That's when an officer who was on another call in the area heard gunfire and then that loud crash. Police found the scene pretty quickly and then started the process of searching for the shooter. We had the air patrol up. Our helicopter was up almost immediately. They called out several vehicles that we saw in the area. Our officers did make some traffic stops immediately after this of vehicles that were close. From information from our helicopter was extremely valuable. All of those were cleared. Yeah, there's still a lot of questions in this case. Police still searching for that shooter and for the motive. Also, police are not sure of the relationship between uh, that little girl and the driver. So still a lot of questions to be answered here. If you have any information that can help police, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 262 TIPS. Now, coming up here in our next half hour on Sunrise, we're going to talk a little bit more about the community concern. This is a very tight knit community here in Hawville, and they are really a rallying around police right now. And we'll talk more about that coming up. Yeah, well, let's hope that leads some information that leads to an arrest in yeah. the case. Carrie Klein reporting live for us. Thank you.